Hi there, welcome back here. In this lecture, we have checked uh, Ketsak 256 hashing function. And uh, briefly, I was mentioning this transaction data, that this is the hashed version of your uh, function signature. Okay, let's continue in this and let's inspect this transaction data. When, uh, let's copy them. All right, let's go to our collegator. Let's paste them somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Okay, let's paste them here. And you will notice here there is a uh, uh, this is a hex string, so it's uh, consisting of uh, hex characters, all right? And uh, you will notice that the first four bytes of this is, are different. These are the fir first four bytes of so one byte, second byte, third byte, and the uh, fourth byte. What does that say here? This fourth byte is the signature of your, of your function you are going to call. So when I'm making transaction, I'm making call to blockchain to the Ethereum network, and I will place in the transaction data this string. The transaction knows what function in a smart contract has to be executed because this here, this signature is saying to call set completed function. This other parameter here, this will be 32 bytes. You will see 64 characters, 32 bytes. It's ending with the second with the number two. This means this this have value of two. This call and call function set completed and pass to the function number number two. I can prove it to you. You will see how the how the functions are hashed. Function is hashed when you will provide the name of the function and also parameters, such as the type of the parameters in the function. So for example, I'm going to hashing. So when we are calling, when we want to call set completed function, so we will call set completed. We want to first hash it, set completed, completed. And what parameters we have there? We have a parameters of uh, uint256. So uint256. So uint this is the full hash of this uh, set completed uint256. And you will notice the first four bytes have D, A, C, A, C, uh, D5, 70, how many is like that? Okay, F, D, how many will be like this? FD, AC, D5, and 76. That's the first four bytes of the string, and it will go here. That's exactly this for these four bytes here. Okay, so that's the function signature hashed. So it's completed and the type. Okay, and you need to provide not just a UIN, but you are you in 256, so you need to provide a full version of the type. So FD, AC, D5, 76 is the signature, the function, hashed version of the function to call. And when you will notice also, I will show you that so your smart contract contain this function. So when you will go to your build, you'll go to faucet.json and you will take a look on your byte code here. So the byte version of your code, I will search for this code. Okay, and, uh, oh, I am in a, oh, I should go to migration, not faucet, okay. I was for a second surprised. F uh, migrations here, let's search, let's search for it. You will notice this is the version. This is a part of the of the bytecode of your of your bytecode. Okay, so here you have it, guys. Here, here is the byte representation, of the function to call. So that's therefore when you're making this call, the smart contract knows what function, what what to execute, what instructions has to have run. Okay, so that's it. And uh, the second parameter, as I told you. This is the value to pass in, and that's uh, in the is in the format of 32 bytes, and uh, it's padded to the left side, so you will pad this 32 bytes of uh, zeros, and the right hand value will be the value you are passing. So that's uh, that's a two. Okay, when you will run it through the uh, hex to decimal. Okay, converter. Enter a hex number. Let's enter this. Convert decimal number two. Okay, that's a hex number. This is in the format of 32 bytes, and the small number is two. Okay, if I would have here, uh, let's say A2, okay, it will be a completely different number. It will be number 162, for example. So that's just a hex format of the number we are, we are passing. All right, guys, so that's uh, what I wanted to explain you, that uh, your bytecode contains, when it's compiled, this function signature in its, uh, its bytecode. And when we are making transactions, we are basically, we are, we are providing these instructions. Yes, call me this function and pass there this data. And also in the bytecode are also the other instructions, what to do with this data. Well, about this, I will talk, uh, talk later because that's quite complicated. All right, so 
I hope you now have a better understanding understanding of uh, smart contracts that it's not just all of the magic, but that's actual data we are passing around. If you have any questions, just, uh, just ask them. I would like to just mention that, yeah, this set completed function will be always called in a truffle when we will be migrating. So it will be migrating a new contract and also set completed on the migration contract will be automatically executed for us so we can keep track of the, all of the migrations. Guys, that's going to be it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.